Hello and welcome to another episode of Baloo's Tech How-Tos. Today we're going to be jumping right back into Mix It Up app and we're going to be looking at the next thing on the list. Last week we covered actions, commands. We're going to be covering a channel points today. So setting up a channel point redemption, how to make sure that it is activated and working on Twitch, as well as adding things to it. What can you do with a channel point redemption through Mix It Up app? There is also a fun community channel points uh, section as well, where you can uh, look to see what uh, other people have created and decided to share with the community. So let's take a look and let's jump right on into it. So within Mix It Up, you actually have the ability to create channel point commands uh, if you're using Twitch that can have all of the functionality of, say, a Mix It Up command that you may have created before, um, but actually turn it into a channel point form so that when your viewers click the channel point, something will happen automatically. So in order to do this, you're going to come back up to our menu up in the upper left here, and you're going to come down to Twitch channel points. It does have Trovo spells as well, um, but we stream to Twitch. So this video is just going to be focused on Twitch for right now. When you click on the channel points, you're going to see previously made channel point rewards that you have created through Mix It Up or have attached Mix It Up functions to. This will not display all of the channel point redemptions you have on your channel. But one thing that I would highly recommend doing is when you start to play around with channel point rewards is pick a bot that you will use for your channel points in order for it to function properly you need to create that channel point reward from the bot itself so you can change and influence these channel point rewards through mix it up uh, however in order to change the picture like the icon you will have to go to the creator dashboard so the handy thing about mix it up when you come down here at the bottom you can add a command to an existing reward you can create a new channel point reward and it will also directly link you to your creator dashboard um, where you can edit the channel points as well. So again, these are two that I've created through Mix It Up. Um, the VIP one is actually a community channel point, which I'll show you uh, just here in a little bit, as well as a voice randomizer channel point reward. So that utilizes voice mod. So if anyone has voice mod, you can connect your voice mod to Mix It Up and allow your chat to change your voice automatically through voice mod. So that's a channel point redemption that I have set up. So you want to come down here to the bottom center and you want to create a new channel point reward. So we're going to call this one test. You can see we've wrote test right down in there. Um, now, just to show you guys as well, if we open up our creator dashboard, I'll just pull this guy over real quick. You can see um, that for one channel point reward, which is what it will start it at, um, we do not have anything called test. But if I hit the OK button here, I'm going to hit OK. It's going to tell us that it's been created and now you can use the link to edit, visit the editor to basically adjust it. So hit OK again and we'll pull our creator dashboard over and one more time you can see we've got test right there. Created, all I did was create it through Mix It Up. So again, you can do the typical edit and adjust everything through here. And that's typically what you want to do for the first time is click on that channel points editor, come in here, set your cooldowns, the amount required, all that kind of stuff. But now you want to go to mix it up. So you see that you've got the new channel point redemption here. So you want to hit edit command to open up your box. Now, if you watch the video from last week where we went through commands, this is going to be very similar. Um, so just to kind of do a quick recap, you can add any of these options that are available to you in the drop down menu to create a unique and fun basically set of actions that will happen when this is redeemed. So if we do a sound, for example, we're going to click on sound. We're going to hit the plus button and that will add this action to the channel point. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit browse and we're just going to go to our soundboard and select. Let's just throw our air horn in there. So now we've just got our air horn in. Um, we're going to lower the volume just slightly. Um, so we'll turn it down through here as well. And you can change the output device if you'd like. So you can actually run it through the mix it up overlay as well if you'd prefer. Default is the same as this, but we use voice meter. So we're going to set it to that voice meter channel. Now we're going to hit save and we've got our test command. So if we pull our chat over here, we've got our channel point redemptions. You can see here that we've got our test channel point reward. If we click this, it's going to play that air horn. 
So now that is just very simply a way to create a channel point reward through Mix It Up to influence something on your stream. You can string together uh, quite a few of these actions if you'd like, so it creates the de desired effect. When you open up these channel points as well, um, you can create a group for it if you'd prefer, just to kind of keep better track of everything within your Mix It Up. The next thing that I wanna show and cover here as well is if you go up to your commands, you can actually create a command. So we'll go new command. We'll just call this, just to keep everything simple, we'll call it test. And the trigger will be exclamation point test. And the reason that I wanna show you this is you can come down here to your actions and there is one for Twitch. So when you select Twitch and hit the plus button, it's going to add in this box. Now you can influence more than just your channel points here. Um, you can VIP users, un-VIP users, you can create a clip, make a stream marker, whatever it may be. But this one, we're gonna focus on updating the channel point reward. And here it is, it's gonna tell you once again that it must be created through Mix It Up in order for this to work. But say you have, using your groups, created channel points for different streams. So say you have different themes on different days, you can actually turn on and off your channel points depending on what day of the week it is, for example. So you wanna choose this test one. We're gonna actually make it disable and we're gonna change the cost to say 50. Now you can change the name of it if you'd like, you can change the description and you could also update cooldowns. We're just gonna leave it as is and we're gonna hit save. Now we'll zoom out here again for you. And as you'll see here, once again, test, it is enabled and it's only one. But if we pull our Twitch chat over and we go exclamation point test. Perfect, so that updated everything there. So as you'll see here, we now have our test command. It is now off, so it is not available to use and it is now worth 50 of our channel points. So if we come back here and check, under our 50, we've got Animal Fact and we've got our Champion of the Hill, but you do not see the test in there. So you can actually influence your channel point rewards through Mix It Up using something like a command. Um, so you can go in and you can make commands to edit your, uh, edit your channel points if you wish. The easiest way to quickly edit is to go into your creator dashboard under those channel points and edit them that way. The last thing that I'm just going to cover today uh, is going to be these community commands. So under here, um, you're going to get a whole menu of commands and things that other people within the community have created that they have uploaded for you to use and customize if you'd like. Um, so there's different things like uh, an overlay shout out. Um, you've got uh, TTS, there's Pokemon images, you can roll a D20, uh, and you can actually create a little command to, uh, if people redeem a channel point, you can actually give them a VIP badge. So you can go through all of these here and say, we'll just click on this one because this is the one that I had downloaded. It's gonna bring you to this page. It'll show you basically how it is all set up and then it'll give you the option to download it if you'd like. So you can download it, review it. And once you're done here, when you click download, it'll ask you if you want to connect it to an existing channel point reward or create a new one. Again, I highly recommend creating a new one so that you can control it through Mix It Up if you would like. Because say you only want to give out one per month. When that's redeemed, then you can turn the channel point reward off. But you can download this and it will put it under your commands. Sorry, not your commands, it'll put it under your channel points. So when you link it to a channel point reward, it'll put it in here. And you can, as you can see, I've got mine turned off um, as well as off in the creator dashboard. So that is another important clarification is within Mix It Up, turning it off here just prevents the action from running. It doesn't turn it off within your creator dashboard. So if we go here, let's turn test back on. We'll just, unfortunately we can, uh, why don't we do this actually? If we just minimize this, so you can see both sides side by side. We've got test, didn't want you to expand. We've got our test command right above me there. So you can see it 50 and it's on. If we turn off test, wait a couple seconds just so that you can, it does automatically update. We can refresh this page here as well. You'll see that test is still on. 
So this will just prevent the action from running. It will not turn off the channel point reward. So that is something that you'll have to do via a command or come into your creator dashboard to make that change. So that is the only downside to mix it up is editing and adjusting your channel point rewards is mostly done through your creator dashboard. Um, something like StreamerBot, for example, you can edit them within the application itself. So that is just one kind of distinction between the two. Um, but again, within mix it up, you can prevent an action from happening, but you won't turn it off unless it has the Twitch action like we did within our test command here, where we actually influenced it to turn off. So those are mix it up commands and channel point rewards. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys can start to piece together some unique and fun channel point rewards for your communities. Let me know what you guys come up with below. I'd be super curious to see what you've got. I stream on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesday is Tech Tuesday. Thursday, we do Pet Therapy Thursday. Get a little bit of that into the week serotonin. But otherwise, much, much love to everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. And we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.